All right, so number two says the ball is thrown in the air and the path of the ball is represented by that equation. So here's some guy, and he's throwing a ball. Then the balls would probably fly in a path like that until it hits the ground. So that's basically what happened to the ball. To find the maximum height of the ball, we're looking for here again. We're looking for the vertex. That will give you the maximum height of the ball. The second part says after how many seconds uh, will it take to reach its maximum height? So basically, that's going to be the x direction. So you want to find out, this could be time, and this is going to be the um, height. This is going to be an L-shaped graph. So we're looking for our height, we're looking for our time. So that's vertex. So looking at this equation, in order to find this vertex, I would take that equation that says h of t um, equals a negative t squared to plus 8t. And I would factor out a negative 1 from both of them. Well, I would group these two in parentheses. And there's no number outside, so you can put plus 0 out there if you want. So you group those in parentheses, you can now see that the a value is negative 1. So if I got a negative 1, I get t squared, take away 8t, plus 0. So begin finding the vertex, I have to find the c value. So it's going to be t squared, take away 8t, plus half of negative 8 is negative 4, so you square that at a 16, plus 0, take away 16, times negative 1. So that gives you negative 1, and then this factors would be t take away 4 squared plus 16. So the vertex of that equation would be at, the vertex would be at positive 4, positive 16, where this is my time and this is my height, um, or h and k. I'm going to call it height instead of h, because h represents something else. So my time is at, this point is at the point, 4, 16. So I know my height is at 16, and that time across is 4. So it says, what's the maximum height of the ball? The maximum height is 16 feet. I'm assuming that's in feet. I'm going to call it 16 units, because I don't know what the unit is. And the how many seconds is the ball at its maximum height? It takes 4 seconds. So that answers number 2.